All right, so um, my project today is putting a grill guard on the Trailblazer because I just put um, probably around $1,700 worth of parts on it, and I'd hate for it to be uh, totaled by one of the 10,000 deer that lives within a five-mile radius of me. There's more deer here than people. <laughs> there are. So, um, yeah, so go out there and do your due diligence and uh, become a hunter and fill your own freezer with organic meat. Um, but anyway, so so the grill guard I bought off of eBay, and uh, it's again, it's for my 2006 uh, Chevy Trailblazer EXT. And so I'm just going to start, un can you, did you move it? Is the box still in there? We'll bring the box closer to the vehicle. And you do, I don't know how good your mic is with clearing out the wind noise, but my... Either. My, I can't, maybe with yours, the mics would work. Well, and I, this will probably be forwarded anyway. So, uh, anyway, so this is the unboxing. Unboxing. With a dull box blade. Hey, it works. It's better than your fingernails. I don't know. Maybe not better than my teeth, though. I, I was just going to say you could gnaw on it. was I wish there were instructions and uh, true to the comments it's gonna be one of those figured out on your own literally this is all they gave you that's it adjust height angle by tighting <laughs> so uh, anyway so I'll be looking at the uh, the pictures of the product and go from there, because, yeah, folks, like, uh, I think the kindergartner could probably make better instructions. just before I putting it on, touching up with paint, because there are quite a few, number one, it's a really rough paint job, uh, but it took a bit of damage in shipping, so if you're a perfectionist, uh, you might want to spend an extra money for those really expensive ones. Um, this one I got for it was like $2.48 on eBay. But you could get some really nice ones for like $1,600 if you want. But um, this will protect from deer because the truck is what's the majority of the cost, not the grill. So, uh, you know, it's whatever is important to you, I guess. But.
my gosh. So even these, there's several different kinds of washers and the thicknesses are different. And man, it'd be really nice if you would package each of them in its own little thing and label them. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's too much to ask. Like, as much as everybody harps on Ikea, at least they package their stuff and label it like M1, M2, M3, M4. So they do all the work for you, and then that would take care of your problem of, you know, losing all these little bits and pieces and make, uh, you know, putting something together a whole lot faster. I'm going to know exactly what I need, where it needs to go, and it'll speed up the process. I mean, I've already spent like five minutes trying to decipher what's here and what I need and if I'm missing anything. So, um, yeah, please, like, put a little effort into maybe packaging and labeling. You done yet? No, there's no instructions, so I'm like, and it's all jumbled. What's that piece of paper? It's junk. <laughs> <laughs> there's no instructions. No, well, the, the complaints, that was part of it, was the oh. complaints were there's no instructions, it'd be nice, and it gets dinged up in transit. I mean, they did a decent job, but it could be improved, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, but this is probably the cheapest one. It's probably it why you, the cheapest one. It's probably why you bought it. It is why I bought it. <laughs> All right, well, you got 20 minutes to finish up. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Just put a little pressure on. Yeah, whatever. I, I want to get this right. Make sure I don't have parts missing, because then I need to run to the store. Otherwise, I'll be halfway in and then frustrated, and, you know, then it's going to start raining, and then it's no, lunchtime. No, you, then... you never get frustrated. <laughs> Doesn't right. happen. Hey, Sarge. Oh, you a good boy. Don't you lay down the shade, buddy. You're like, oh, because you can't reach anymore? Because you got yourself tangled? There you go. Oh, try one of the apples. They're really, really good. Like, really good. Yesterday I went to the farmer's market and uh, there was a stand from a local orchard and they happened to have Pixie Crunch apples and I actually planted a Pixie Crunch three years ago and uh, it hasn't started producing yet so I got to taste what it's going to taste like and it's, it's really good. It's not tart, it's mildly sweet. They're like, it's kind of like a honey crisp, but um, it's not tart like a honey crisp, and it's not as, like, whoa in your face sweet either. So it's it's quite pleasant, actually. Huh. Interesting. So, I'm not sure how this is all going to go, because I've got... I'm assuming these go with these, because there happens to be six and six. I I'm just reasoning through this, folks. That is a chihuahua for sure. I know. Y'all can't see it, but the dog is on the hot con or asphalt. asphalt, thank you, in the sun. It's got to be at least 85 right now. Panting. Panting. <laughs> Alright, so there are no instructions, folks, so I really am just guessing here. Um, let me turn this around, sorry about that. But, so it looks like I probably have all the bits and pieces. Um, so, just going on how they fit and everything and how it might make sense. So, but here you go. Looks like there's two washers and then a locking washer. And then two washers here with locking nut. And then there's a thin washer here. I'm helping that help. I don't I don't know if this goes with this set or this. So we will figure it out. And then two other washers. And then we got some up there. And uh, I don't have any bolts for those so they might not need them. These might actually go to, to the frame. So we shall see. Okay so I'm gonna have to pause the video here. Um, like I said I think I have everything. I'm gonna 
put all these things where I think they might go and uh, yeah and then look at the picture of the product so here we go referring to the picture, these do canter outward. So I'm looking, you're, you're looking at me, I'm at the, the floor, the, the road side, and then it goes out as it goes up on the vehicle. So, um, so I just hand screwed in the first one. Obviously you don't want to tighten it because you want to be able to fit everything in place first and then you go back and tighten everything. So, um, washer. I honestly forgot which one was which, so my brother helped me out. I'm like, which one does it up? And then the last washer between the mating surfaces. Sometimes it's not perfect, doesn't feel, it's, sometimes it does feel like it's stripped going in, but it's just because it's a rough surface, they probably didn't, and then they painted it too, so. We have these the angled, and I'm pretty sure it goes with this bar. The reason I say that is because these are the only two that are graduated, so I'm guessing that goes there. Correct me if I'm wrong. just crimps down. What do you think? And then it molds. I kind of want to think so. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. They are right there. Again, just hand tightening them just in case. Well, just so that they fit in here so I can continue to work, but also, like I 
I said, no instructions, word of the day. All these are in <coughs> where I think they're supposed to be. They're flat. These, I think they're just there for maybe another vehicle fitting or something, or mm, I don't know. All right, so I got all these left still. We're gonna put on the grill thingies to cover the headlights next. And it looks like there are two four and then four on the other side so we've got four and four so I'm going to assume these go with the headlight protector yeah, all struts in good so nice and up high yeah. You're still bending, but not as far. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put these up just to bring it up to about the same height. I might just put a little something underneath there. Give it some support. I'll use the packaging that came in. Okay, so I see a problem. So where I thought that those really thin washers went, I kind of don't think that anymore. The reason being is because for this piece, this actually goes right over the top of those angled, angled bolts. So it would sit way too proud. So I'm going to have to undo that <laughs> so that those sit flush. Um, and I will have to tighten all of this down because otherwise I won't be able to access the, to tighten it with the Allen wrench. So I'm going to pause the video because you guys don't want to see me undo the work that I just did. <laughs> I wouldn't want to watch that. Okay. These four skinny washers I took off because they, they clearly don't go there. Um, so I'm going to tighten those down. So the Allen wrench side takes a five millimeter and then the, um, the locking nuts take a 13 millimeter.
that was a knuckle buster. Okay, so those are tight. Again, that was a five millimeter and a 13 millimeter. Now we're gonna move on to the, uh, this bolt for the top and also for the bottom. Those are the same size. I mean, it might have been a 16, I don't have a 16 millimeter in my set, but uh, the 5 eighths is pretty darn snug. I feel like I'm working on a GMC. I don't think I'm going to tighten this one down all the way, just so that I've got it at the... Once it's mounted, then I'll make sure that it's kind of going up like it should be, if that makes sense. Since it's laying on the ground right now, I can't quite tell. back up here.
All right. And then, I don't know if you can see this, but, so, this goes flares up towards the outside of the vehicle, and these holes will fit right over the top of the bolts for this portion. Again, just finger tightening these for right now. All right, so these eight nuts bolts are both 13 millimeter. So 
luckily my set comes with um, socket, wrench, and you know once you get it put together it's it's gonna protect my vehicle just fine okay so tight tight these this top one
Okay, now I have these left. So I've got these four little thin mystery washers. And then we've got two, four, six of this size and two, four, six of this size. These are much beefier, if you can tell. So I'm guessing these probably go to the frame. These two doohickeys. And these attach this to this right here. So this goes on the frame somehow. I haven't gone underneath the trailblazer to see. Well, I, I kind of did and I had no clue. So um, anyway, so that's probably going to be the hard part, I would imagine. Plus, they did mention that you're going to have to trim the airflow thing. So, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. that size. So this 5.8 still fits um, on these. Looks like I'll need another 5.8. Uh, it is an 18. Let me see if I think my brother has uh, 18 wrench. Because I don't So, looking at the trailblazer here. So via the pictures, it looks like it was going to come just in line with this area right here. And on the other side, right there, right before your, where they would put like a tow hook or something, which would be pretty cool, honestly, but that's not why we're here. We need to stay focused. All right, so, so we're going to come underneath here. You say all right so as much as I say some of the things I say a lot. Hey, you know, at least at least we know each other enough that we pick the pick up on these things. Uh-huh. All right, so. All right, so. <laughs> getting to it. All right. So. So. <laughs> okay. So this is the inside here, and there's a couple bolts here and one right here. And my brother did help me kind of look at this because I was standing on my head and thinking, how the heck is this going to work? But when he looked at it, it was like, well, this totally makes sense. And then, of course, the light bulb came on and it's like, it does make sense. How easy is that? It really is made to fit. <laughs> how wonderful. I thought this was going to be super difficult. So I will have to trim the air deflector. Oh, gosh. I need a third arm. So this is gonna fit right up in here. So right here, I'll like put the belts in so I know where I'm gonna have to cut this air deflector right here um, to make just enough room to slide it in. So yeah, so I'm gonna pause so that I can, oh man, I don't know, so I don't have to pause. So I've got one of the bolts in my hand here. And these actually are the exact fit. They won't just slide in. You're going to have to actually screw it into place. So I'm going to get this started because otherwise I'm pushing up. And maybe for you all that do a ton of push-ups and get all jacked up, that's great. It'd be easy for you, but I... I mean, I can do some push-ups, don't get me wrong, but like a static push-up for a super long time, that's another thing, so I guess you would call those planks. All right, back it off a little bit more. Let me know. 
Okay. All right. And this last one. Not left-handed. I just need to get it started. There we go. Okay. I just want this to be lined up correctly, so I make that. Okay, I'm a little anal retentive about things, and I guess with this I probably wouldn't have to be, but, you know, it would be nice to make it look somewhat respectable. Okay. And I can tell right now that when they say he might need some spacers here, this is what they're referring to. Let's see if I can... Again, I'm really close and I can't see. I'm kind of blind, but... Um, so there's space right here and this side's pretty much flush but I will need some spacers in between here so anyway so I'm going to stop it right here so I can grab a, a pencil and mark this out so we are back and I did find uh, something useful about this kind of worthless piece of instructions <laughs> um, yeah um, it's, I used it as a little guide for cutting. So, and I guess I kind of don't even, I guess I wouldn't have to even remove this necessarily. Question mark? I think I might just use it to kind of protect the metal. And found a little hacksaw. So, we'll start with this side. And of course, now the wind's picking up. It's been a little bit windy all day, but um, anyway. And yeah, I am not left handed. And of course, this end, the flat end is on this side. Yeah, I will ding up the metal for sure if I leave this in place. And. You know, why Why let it rust prematurely? So, I'll just take these out of the way. Kind of watching how far this drops, too. That might tell me how much I will need to trim, which I hope I don't have to trim much. So, probably a good half inch is what that looks like. So, here's my two marks right here. I did the outside and the inside. So, we're just going to go nice and slow. Oh yeah. Yep, that's perfect. Wonderful. And that gives, you know, gives this a little bit of support too, honestly. 
So, um, yeah. Alrighty. So, um, now, yeah, I know you wouldn't have to do this, but I actually might put some uh, um, anti-seize on the mating surfaces here and the the screws, especially since they're going, they're screwing into this too. So if, if something ever happens and I need to, you know, fix it, um, then I, I can do that. Uh, the, the only thing, now this piece, this is your frame, runs, this is what looks like the, uh, the strut assembly sits on, eventually connects to and everything. But then this is welded, this piece is welded, I think, to this, and then here. So there's not a whole lot of metal, because honestly, the only thing that this is <laughs> really holding is the radiator. Um, so obviously, the only thing I would want to hit... <laughs> Um, and obviously not intentionally is deer because it's it's not attached to the actual frame. Like I was hoping it would attach to the frame, and it's not. It's attaching it, attaching to this piece. So um, you know, it's it's already well or uh, rusted just a little bit. Um, but anyway, so. So for you, for those of you out there that like, just FYI, you can't be can't be ramming stuff with that or you might lose your radiator <laughs> unintentionally. Bad, bad. All right. So I am going to go get that. I'll be right back. I guess I should go get the right tool for the job. Alright, got the old trusty hand sludge and I'm probably up too far. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ok. 
Come on. Get on there. joys of trying to get a bolt started. Sometimes if you go backwards, you can feel the thread, like, sit in the groove. And then you move it forward. Thanks. No, I do have room, I think. You know, I'm always. 
always afraid to just go He-Man on stuff. <laughs> but sometimes, sometimes you gotta be just a little bit forceful. I still don't like to be, but... Gooten tight. That's gooten tight. That one's going to be fun. turn at a time. One side done. Hopefully that won't be too. I mean, it's it's a little bit. It's not quite straight up and down. So, I mean, it, well, we shall see, folks. Okay, so you guys just saw the other side. This side has gonna go right up there same exact process cut into this airflow piece um, right here just a little bit right there um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that you guys don't really need to it's it's the same process just on the other side right I mean so uh, I'm just gonna get done with this and then skip to the other part so um, you know I'm, I'm down here under the vehicle course putting in this uh, brush guard or as I like to call it deer guard and I noticed that the air deflector has this support on this side and so I moved over to this side to install it and I'm like boy that's got a lot of play and lo and behold the support on this side look you can even see the gap where the uh, light headlight is, but it's completely missing on this side. So I'll have to put the order in for that, but um, anyway, just I guess one of those things, I, I didn't notice it yet, <laughs> and I've been under the car. I mean, I knew that it was loose, I just didn't know what it was that was missing or damaged. So it doesn't look like, like anything is damaged per se. This isn't cracked or anything, this isn't cracked, it's just, it's just missing that support bracket. So, um, so that's good news, kind of, I guess. So, I, I guess I should have recorded this, because, <laughs> of course, this side was a breeze to get in. I mean, it's still a little bit, uh, a little bit tight there, but nowhere near what it was. I didn't have a problem putting the washer on or anything like that, or even threading it. So, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. One side is a bear, and then the other side is just easy peasy, or vice versa. So, Anyway, um, so yeah, this went super easy. It took me like literally 
maybe eight minutes versus the like 28 minutes on the first one or whatever it was. I don't know. But, uh, but anyway, let's move on. And uh, so um, let me crawl out from under here because we're getting to the fun part. I mean, like the, the like the, hey, this is what it's going to look like. It's, it's actually installed look like part. So um, yeah, you know, like that side looks a little bit more straight on. And this side definitely looks more a little cattywampus, but that's like the framing, or maybe it came out of the box that way. So hopefully, hopefully that won't be an issue for me when I actually load this thing, because um, I don't know how. I mean, it's it's heavy, but not too heavy. It might just be awkward one-handed if you know I've you know if it's if it's so out of balance that it's going to cause little issues. So, all right, so. I think you call this the moment of truth. <laughs> oh yeah, this has a little heft to it for sure. again. All right, so I looked at the pictures and it does look like it is on the inside um, of these brackets. So I don't know. He's interesting, I guess. These washers just seem like they're mostly undersized for this. I mean, they're slipping that. Maybe once all three are tightened in place, it'll hold correctly. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping. I mean, seriously, I feel like going to the hardware store and getting bigger bolts.
to tighten this a little bit because I don't have enough thread to get the bolt started on this other this other one here. So these bolts um, are five eighths. Five eighths. I'm definitely going to put different washers on it. I just, I don't think I have any here. You ain't done yet? Um, well, the washers they gave are too small. <laughs> well, I got plenty of washers. Well, do you have ones that would fit this? Probably. Because seriously, they are just... <laughs> I've got lots of washers. One for they this. need to be, I need, that fits right on there. two, four, six, eight, Why is that? twelve. Why is that too small? Because it's too small for the frame. Ooh, head rush. Oh, the hole in the, the frame The hole in the frame is bigger than the flipping washers. Okay, so, kind, kind of funny, kind of not funny. Um, so he, he did find the washers. He had... Just enough with a couple to spare, so I, we don't have to run into town and be stupid and we're using up supplies. Um, so anyway, it's it. I think the thing that makes me say it's kind of funny is because when we moved from one house to not this house but the house previous, we were in such a hurry that we were just like throwing stuff away and throwing stuff, you know, in in the U-Haul. And I remember taking a load out to the dump and seeing a whole bunch of washers that looked very much like these. And of course, we were in a hurry, but I'm like, those are perfectly brand new washers. And so I dug them out and I think it's kind of funny that these might be the washers. <laughs> so.
Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Yeah. What do you think, y'all? Doesn't that look awesome? Can I, can I yank on it yet? No. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. You're gonna hit me in the face. Are you gonna paint it pink? You said. <laughs> he he said you're gonna. It'd be really cool if you paint it yellow. I'm like, no, that's that's your wife's thing. Or orange, you know, some kind of crazy outlandish color. I like these rubber uh, bumpers. Yeah. I don't know how long they'll stay on there, but you know. It's a cool idea, at least. Yeah. How much does that cost? Uh, 248 bucks. Okay. It, it makes it look mean. <laughs> like an angry trailblazer. Well, hopefully th that will be just imposing enough. The deer will be like... Yeah, leave her alone. You must be getting a lot of wind noise now, I'm, I'm guessing. Not, I'm not talking a whole lot. I'm not okay. a talker like you are. Oh, oh baloney. <laughs> you want beer? I would love one. You want your one for your Dodge Neon, don't you? What? What? No, thank you. <laughs> You're cute as a button, Neon. I know, mine looks... Yeah, it doesn't need that. I don't want it to look angry. Does this make it look angry? A little bit. Because the, like, the, the top it. ones, the top bar makes it look like the eyebrows that are pointing downwards, so.
You go, Ed. Beer. Cold beer. Cold beer here. Get your cold beer. <laughs> What do you think, Firstborn? Does your uh, vehicle look pissed off now? All right, hold on. Like, bring it on, dear. <laughs> yeah, uh, lavender. Lavender color. Lav yeah. Oh, lighten it right up. Yeah, it'll Not ticked off, just yes. just ready. Yep. I look, I, look, I look pretty, but I'm ready to fight. Bring it. Actually, look at the little tree in your windshield. That's the color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll match your little tree. The little, the little tree. Yep. Uh, in fact, that's probably a similar color to the spray paint I have left over. Oh, the magenta? The magenta. That, yeah, that's about it. <clears throat> Somebody here. deer season which is like all year round here in Kentucky but you know it's worse in the fall so yeah looks pretty nice so um, I did remember I didn't tighten this like super duper tight um, but I, it's really hard to, like, I can't move that. So I think it'll be okay. Um, I can always, um, take this off pretty easy just because of where it is and if that loosens up at all, but that's pretty, that's pretty solid right there. So anyway, um, I will put in the description, um, everything but I did pick it up off eBay 248 bucks it got here fast I think I ordered it Sunday and it got here on Tuesday so and I live rural very rural so anyway have a good one so so it's done she says I guess I can I can yank on it now like can I really I, <laughs> like I was explaining to them if you crawl under there you will see that it it's is got, a, it's got a little bit of movement there yeah well it's but it's tight, there. but it's tight. It's tight. It is attached to a bracket that is attached to the frame yeah. that is, like, basically only there for the rating. Well, like. well, yeah, but this is just here in case you get a deer coming yes. at you. Yes, yes. And that would take... Most of the brunt. Uh-uh, it wouldn't. I just hit your... I just I just put it in your side of your vehicle there. Yeah, but it won't. Do we, need to, do we need to tighten that up more, or what do we need to do here? Something's not tight. Whoa, look at that. Oh, did I not? Did I, oh, yeah. I missed one. I missed one. So I, I would 
go back and retorque retorque everything because you know how oh, you said I the, it. I well, you, it. well you know how you said the holes were bigger than the bolts yeah so you really got to crank those down well I, I forgot this one my guess is it's still damaged but not as much yeah it's going to spread the the load of the deer hey it still looks cool right i mean well like i said <laughs> i want it to be functional and yeah. actually protect my vehicle That should be better now. <laughs> well, let's see here. Yeah. No, oh, that yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay, that's what it was. It's you know, if I hit it, it doesn't. And that's just me. I mean, a deer at uh, 50 miles an hour is going to be a lot more force. So. Yeah. But it'll help. Yeah. For sure. Cool beans. Honestly, I really did like the $1,600 one. It gave more protection, but it was $1,600. Sixteen. Two forty. I mean, that's a quarter of the price of your vehicle here. So. <laughs> I know. Oh, poor thing. You totally need to. Oh, did we commit alcohol abuse? Yeah. Oh man. Uh, you need like some lights on it now, so you can pretend to be uh, the authorities. <laughs> I think that's a federal offense. <laughs> well, you can put fun police on it. <laughs> Just, just ha have it say fun police, and then it's okay, right? No, if I really wanted to be redneck, and have p purple and pink lights. No, I think, I think true redneck. I think they mount right here. Honestly, are those like the the, the LED lights for like game hunting and st isn't that, or are they up there? Uh, I, up there. I mean, that's illegal. <laughs> yeah. We talk about illegal things. Hunting with high-powered lights from a vehicle, I'm pretty sure, well, is a no-go. <laughs> anyway. All right, yeah. folks. Done. That don't look too shabby. Yeah. Say see you later, sis. See you later. No, say see you later, sis. See you later, sis. No, no. See you, see you later. It's a bad people. joke. <laughs>